Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Battleground WWE. Uh, we're going to start with Windows. After that, I will show you like what type of setting that you have inside of the game, and you will see that it's pretty much a bad port. And I will show you uh, how to get in the config file and what to change to make sure that you optimize your FPS. So the first thing that you really need to do is write game mode, sorry. Make sure that your game mode is at off. Make sure that your Xbox game bar is at off. And make sure that all your capture feature over there, background recording and recorded audio are at off. Another thing really important, honestly, just remove all your overlay that you're currently using, like Discord overlay, Steam, U or Steam overlay, uh, NVIDIA overlay, etc. Another thing that you can do is write GPU and click on graphics setting over there. If you have the latest version of Windows, so Windows 10, the version 2004, you will have the new hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. I have a dedicated video on this. So you need to make sure that this one is at on and restart your computer if you didn't do it before. Uh, also, if you have the latest version and you don't see this option, make sure that you have the latest driver of your video card. So if you have like an NVIDIA, make sure uh, you update it. I'm not sure if it's currently available for AMD. Uh, maybe one more thing before we opening the game, make sure that you have the latest driver again. Uh, if you have even Intel, if you have an integrated video card on the laptop, make sure that you download your Intel graphic uh, driver. It can help you a lot with video games. So now let's go inside of the game. So inside of the game, I will just show you quickly uh, where are the par uh, graphic parameter, but uh, you will definitely need to use the config file because you can't really do anything in this game. I feel like it's a bad port from a console game to PC. So you just press S to see your option. You scroll down and this is pretty much it. So you have your resolution. Make sure that it's your uh, monitor resolution. For me, they were using 720p and I don't know why. So change it over there. Uh, for screen, make sure that you're using full screen. And after that, for graphic, you don't really have any option. Like it's very high, like I think over there, very high, high, medium or low. So you can really decide like if you want to remove shadows and stuff like that. But still, we're going to let this at very high. And after that, we're going to go uh, in the config file and we will change uh, shadows, foliage and stuff like that. So now the config file. To uh, see your config file, you need to go to your C drive, users, the name of your computer, app data. Make sure that you see your hidden file on Windows to see app data. Local, WWE Playground, save, config, and Windows No Editor. The file that you need to open is the game user setting over there. Double click on it. And now you see all your graphic parameter over there. So three means very high, two high, one uh, medium, and zero low. The first one that you should definitely put at uh, low, it's the shadow. Uh, if I compare very high to uh, low, you have a difference like 10% in your FPS or so a really nice boost. Uh, other stuff that you can change, your view distance, I recommend two over there. Anti-aliasing, go with one. Post-processing, two. Uh, texture, it really depends on your VRAM, but honestly, if you have like more than 3 gig of VRAM in this game, you can let it at 3. If you have 2 gig, go with 2, and if you have less than 2 gig, go with 1. Effect, if you feel when uh, a lot of stuff is happening, explosion and stuff like that, you're dropping in your FPS, go with 1. Foliage, 1. And shader, shading quality, go with 2. Normally with this, you will gain another like 20 to 25 percent boost in your fps honestly the game is a bad port for the pc but it's running well on pc so you should not have any uh issue with it if you're still struggling with your fps after all those changes view distance quality put this one at zero post processing put this one at one and effect and foliage go with zero and it should help you a lot so when you're done with that just make sure that you save click x and also just to make sure right click on it Go to properties, make sure that you put the file in read only mode because you don't want the game to override the, the setting that you just changed because those settings are not existing in the game. So if I don't know, they patch it or they decide to apply your setting, it will definitely override what you just did. So that ab that's about it for this game. If you have any questions, just come in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.